this video is going to be a bit out of my usual scope and it's it is actually because of this reason that I'm making it. There are two groups of people that I think would use tree to OLL. The first are beginners who already learned the full beginner method, but uh, their method of solving corners would look something like that. And you want to upgrade to something more systematic, but at the same time, tool OL is 16 algorithms. So before you are able to finish memorizing the whole thing, you can actually prioritize learning a handful of cases first. And then while you're still in the process of re learning the remaining cases, those that you have already learned can actually be utilized to do 3 loop OL. The second group of people would probably be people like me. Megaminx is simply not your main event and don't want to invest too much time memorizing it. So what happened was I actually tried to learn 2 loop OL and depending on like how busy I am at that point in time and as well as the cost of adding more events, I'm going to prioritize big cubes and just chuck Megaminx aside. I end up just not practicing Megaminx for long stretches of time and I end up, end up forgetting the elk sets that I memorized. 3 loop OL, I would say the intellectual investment into this is comparable to learning 2-loop two, two OLL on a 3x3 three three cube. First, what is 3-loop OLL? Of course, 1-loop OLL is when you look at the case and you solve the whole OLL. 2-loop OLL will be to solve all the edges first. So that is 1-loop and then you solve the corners. So that's your second look. Then 3-loop OLL will be you first solve all the edges Then instead of immediately solving all the corners, you reduce your corners to an easy case and then you solve the easy case. And this is largely based on how I would teach 3x3 three three beginner method. Doing coaching to beginners, I actually came up with a method that is relatively systematic. Look at how many corners you have. It can be 1, it can be 0, it can be 2. Notice it's always left front corner in this method. One corner, left front corner must have orange on top. So does this have orange on top? No. Burn your cube. Does this have orange on top? Yes. So now you do the soon. If you were actually uh, digress a bit, if you want to be a 3-loop OL user on 3x3, three three, you can more or less just learn the back soon. Then. But in this case, uh, when you have one corner, sometimes you need to do the algorithm a second time. Zero corners. We want this one, again left front, to have orange on the left. So does this have orange on the left? No. So I turn the top layer once. Does this have orange on the left? Yes. So I do the soon, and notice I reduce this to a one corner case. Likewise, for two corners, I want this one to have orange in front. So this one doesn't have orange in front, so I turn. This is not orange in front again. Now this one is orange in front. So I will do the soon from this angle. And then, bam, one corner case. So now on to applying this on Mega Minx. Since 3 loop OLL is basically 2 loop OLL where the second step splits in half and the first step stays the same, there should be no change in this step when we are solving all the edges. We have one edge correctly flip. It's as good as getting a dot case. And what I'll do is just do the algorithm for the this OL which I call the TIE FIGHTER OL, or at least that's what it looks like. Uh, U2 R prime slash hammer, U2 slash hammer. I want this edge to be on the left side here. Uh, you do R prime slash hammer. You do slash hammer. We got three edges, and two of them are together. The third one is separate. So this is basically like this case. It's F sexy F prime. So likewise, uh, if we got two edges on the left, one edge on one edge on the right, we do F sexy F prime. Three edges all clustered together. We generally want all of them in the back left, just like this OL here, the back one and the left one. In this case, F inverse sexy F prime. second step is to reduce your OL into a two-corner case, and the third step is to solve the two-corner case. So I'm going to explain the third step first because it's more direct. Um, basically, once you have two corners already solved, um, there are only four possible cases you can get, and the first one is the soon, where you have three corners like that. Um, R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two prime. Now, this one direction matters because you have five faces, not four, and then R prime. The second case here is the back soon, soon will be R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. For the remaining two cases, these two are the back, and this one's in front. So we look at this one. This one is facing the right side. So what we'll do is an inverse soon. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. In this case, we got 
also three corners, two of them are together and the third one is split. This time instead of facing right, it's now facing front. And what we'll do is, we do a soon but we modify one of the moves. So just for naming purposes, I'm going to call this the big soon. Uh, U R prime, U2, uh, U2 R prime. For the second step of three loop OLL, we'll be taking any case where we have any number of corners that isn't two and we'll be reducing it into a two corner case. So this parallels uh, the beginner method that I will be teaching on 3x3 three three. and what I will tell most beginners is to look at this specific corner here because the soon protects this corner and you will do something to the remaining tree. However on the Mega Minx, the soon actually protects two corners. We're going to look at this corner still but as a second priority we'll be looking at this corner like afterwards. For cases with three corners, this is similar to getting two corners on a 3x3. Three three. We want to look at the corner in front as usual and we want it to be facing like orange in front. The first thing we want to do is this corner, orange in front, again. So this is the correct orientation. If it's not the correct orientation, just turn the top layer until it is. And then after that, now we look at our second priority corner. This one has orange on top, which is what we want. So we will do the soon from this angle. And now we have a two corner case. The second group of cases is, let's say I force orange in front here. But now this corner is not solved. So what we want to do here is, this corner still needs to be in the safe zone, and bear in mind the safe zone is as big as two corners, it's not one single corner. So when we turn the top layer, we still have this corner in the safe zone which will not be affected by the soon. But this other corner here is now a soft corner. So if we do the soon, we will still flip the same three corners. And we end up with a two corner case. So our second group of cases are those with one corner, and likewise, our top priority corner, we want a solved one. This is similar but a little different from getting zero corners on 3x3 three three because now we have, we still have one soft corner. So our top priority has to be the soft corner. And then for this one, in the beginner method, I said orange on the left. So likewise, our second priority corner is orange on the left. From here, we can just do a soon. And we end up with a two corner case. For one corner, we also have the second case where our first priority corner has orange on top, so that's correct. But our second priority corner no longer has orange on the left. So what we'll do is we turn the top layer once, just like we did for the three corners. And within the safe zone of the soon, we still have one orange corner that's on top. And now we have one orange corner that's on the left. And then we do a soon. And we end up with a two corner case. Finally, there's actually a third case for one corner, which is you did the same thing as before, you anchor one orange corner here and then you saw that your second corner does not have orange on the left, so you turn and now the new corner that you brought into the safe zone also does not have orange on the left. So what we'll do here is we actually do a back soon. So we actually sort of flip this corner backward to solve it and these two, when you flip backwards, they actually don't solve. So I do a back soon and I got two, two corners. And for the last group of cases, we have zero corners. And what we are going to do is, notice that most of the corners face the same direction except for one. We will specifically look out for a pair of headlights and a blank. And there are two possible cases, they are mirrors of each other. So in other words, in one of those cases, you will see the headlights first, then the blank. In this one, you see the blank first, then the headlights. So if you have gotten blank first, then headlights, we want the blank and the headlights to be in the danger zone of the front soon. And in the safe like protected zone is here and then we just do the front soon and we have a two corner case and then finally for the other case where we see the headlights first then we see the blank what we will do is pretty much the mirror image of the same thing so the back soon when you do the back soon the danger zone is in front and the safe zone is at the back so we want the headlights and the blank to be inside the danger zone of the back soon and then the remaining two corners not involved in the headlights and the blank are inside the safe zone and then we just do the back soon and then we have two corners how this works is basically just corner twist math the total number of corner twists on a cube must add up so let's say if you have a soft corner this counts as a zero if you, if you have a corner like this this is one corner twist and then an anti-clockwise twist is basically two clockwise twists so i will just count this as, as a two then if you have two corners what happens is you are deliberately protecting a number one and then since these two are zero in order to add up to three the last corner has to be a two and regardless of what order it is it this is a zero zero two this will also work for zero two zero or two zero zero right 
you will notice that both the zeros will become unsolved when you do the soon. And then the 2, when you add 1 to it, it becomes 3, which equates to the 0 because everything works in multiples of 3. And then when you get to 0 corners, to protect a 2, the remaining 3 must add up to 4, 4 plus 2 gives you 6. And when you want to split 4 into 3 pieces, it's always 1, 1 and 2. So again, you will solve the 2, you will not solve the 2 ones, only solve 1 corner out of the remaining 3. And now, to expand that corner twist math from 3 by 3 into Mega Max, likewise doing a soon is plus 1 to these 3 corners. Corner is twisted one time, this is this has a value of 1. And then this other corner, it has been, it's an anti-clockwise twist which is also equal to 2 clockwise twist, so this has a value of 2, and of course the soft corners have a value of 0. When we want to purposely put one orange in front here, we are in, this is inside the safe zone. So what we are effectively protecting is a corner with a value of 1 and a corner with a value of 0. And due to how corner twists work, they must add up to 3. So the remaining corner will definitely have a 2 and we, are, we will be twisting 2 zeros and therefore unsolving them. And we'll be adding one more to the 2 and therefore solving this. So our danger zone gives us one corner, our safe zone gives us one corner, always giving us 2 regardless. Second case of three corners, the corner with a value of 2 has invaded our safe zone and so what we can do is just push it out and pull in a corner with a value of 0 and then when we do the soon, we likewise unsolve these two and solve this one. So we got one from the danger zone and one for the safe zone, which still it adds up to two corners. When we have one corner correctly solved, I told you to anchor this one in the safe zone and look for one that is facing left. Because facing left has a value of two. We are effectively protecting zero and two and due to how many spaces there are, the remaining have to add up to 4 so that they can add up to this 2 and make a 6. Therefore, the corner twist quantity is legal. It's a perfect multiple of 3. And when you want to split 4 into 3 pieces, it's always 1, 2, 1, regardless of what order it is. And when you do the soon, you add 1 to the 2 ones, they become 2, they stay unsolved. You add 1 to the 2, it will become solved and therefore give you 1 corner in the danger zone. And then the safe zone already has 1 corner in it. So if I do a soon like that, I have two corners. And in this case, when we want to protect 0 and 2, but we realize that there's a corner with a value of 1 in this place, all you can do is likewise, same strategy, push it out. And hopefully we can draw in a corner that has a value of 2, which in this case it has. And that's why doing a soon here was, will work if you can see that this corner is also facing left. However, if you notice this one is facing right side, this one is also facing the right. So no matter how, you, you cannot, like in the final case, you cannot have a value, a corner of value 2 that is next to your value 0. In a scenario like that, we can basically just rely on the back soon, which is minus 1 to 3 corners, because it's a mirror of the soon. So instead of plus 1, it's minus 1. Since like the strategy I told you for this case is to anchor a 0 here and hope for a 2 here, and then if you don't have a 2, you push and you hope for a 2 here. If, however, if both of them turns out to be 1, this means that these two are 2, and then this 0 and this 1 already happen to be in the safe zone of the back soon. And then, when you do the back soon to this 3, we know that these 2 are 2. So when you subtract 1 from these 2, they will still remain as 2. But when you subtract 1 from this 1, because we know that the 2, this is the one and only case where we have 2 1s that flank the 0, this 1 will definitely minus 1 from it and become a 0 and therefore you solve this corner. And therefore the danger zone has one corner and we did liberally protect that one here so the safe zone gives us one corner. And then for the zero corner case, what we are going to do is basically look for the blank and the headlights. And the reason why is because if all the corners are all facing the same direction, we all know they have the same number. But when you see headlights and blank, that means the middle one is facing a different direction from the outer two. And so it's either, in this case I got one, two, one. The mirror case will be 2, 1, two. Like basically, ba we are basically going to take, take advantage of the 3 numbers where the middle one is different. So if it's 1, 2, 1, we'll use the back soon to subtract from the 2 ones, and therefore we get 2 corners, and then when we subtract from the 2, we just get a 1 and it stays unsolved, and so we got 2 corners from the danger zone, and we purposely protected 2 corners in the safe zone, so the safe zone won't give us extra corners, we will end up with a 2 corner case. Likewise for the mirror, if it's 2, 1, 2 instead, we will do a soon, so that's why, that's why if... Um, this headlights first and blank. Let's say if it's blank first and headlights, we put this into the soon area. So the danger zone of the soon will have 2, 1, 2. And we will solve both the 2s. We will not solve the 1 with the soon. And therefore, we get 2 corners. And then we, we deliberately protect the 2 corners in the safe zone. 